A new school year is a chance to start over, make new friends, and find new enemies. From the first time they met, Caroline and Mia hated each other. And when this guy showed up, it only got worse. Meet Jackson, the most popular guy in college. A football legend. He's hot and he's rich. While the girls are glaring at each other, Jackson has a request for you. Subscribe, click the bell, and hit the thumbs up. Mia is one of the first people to get to campus. And at the dorm, they gave her a beautiful new room, which is perfect for the coolest cheerleader. She thinks this is going to be a private room, so she starts decorating it. Everyone has to see right away that this isn't just a room, but her kingdom is already under threat. Her roommate is Caroline. She's taking over. Since they have to live together, whether Mia likes it or not, they'll have to truce and even be friends. Things are getting tense. They're faking smiles and making small talk. Everything could have been ruined forever if there was only one key to the room. But luckily, there's two. Mia, don't celebrate yet. There's a lot of options for extracurricular activities in college. If you haven't found something you like yet, why not try theater club? Mia, don't you want to be a star? Oh, of course, the cheerleader wants to do sports. Well, not everyone is cut out to be an actor. But Caroline wants to try it out. She's played a tree before. Jackson is putting on a show and accidentally signed up for drama club because he thought they wanted his autograph. Looks like he's going to rock Shakespeare's world. Jackson is a real heartbreaker and it's not even on purpose. Caroline is just so happy he exists. Mia wants to mess things up for them. So she starts spreading rumors. If she turns Caroline against Jackson, then Caroline will give up on her own. Now that Mia knows Jackson's in drama club, she decides to sign up to audition. She was sure she'd pass, but Caroline is a problem that needs to be solved. So on audition day, Mia hid her mirror, then offered to help her roomie with her makeup. Now she won't pass the audition for sure. Mia thinks she's helping Caroline. But karma, Mia borrowed Caroline's lip gloss without thinking. Big mistake. We'll tell you about that later. During the audition, Jackson read one of Romeo's monologues in a very unexpected way. Shakespeare would love it if he could see it. Speaking of karma, Mia is allergic to Caroline's makeup. She's so allergic that Caroline's makeup looks good in comparison. Mia just has to try to cover up her allergy while Hip Hop Romeo is wrapping up. Caroline has a chance too. She noticed her makeup. Oh, poor Professor Nathan has a bad feeling about this year's production. <laughs> First, a hip-hop Romeo. Now this? Cheerleader Juliet? Mia's about to kill Professor Nathan's last brain cells. Luckily, Caroline saves the day. She was so upset about her makeup that she started acting out a real tragedy. She's sobbing. And her tears are so dramatic. Finally, we found our Juliet. Bravo, Caroline. The show must go on. Drama Club wasn't the only place. 
Jackson signed up by mistake. He's giving so many autographs that he ended up in science club. Science is cool and all, but not to Jackson. He doesn't have to be smart, right? He's cool and he's handsome. But when Mia saw Jackson's name on the list, Mia signed up for science club too. We have bad news for her. Mia, you're going to have a great time with your new best friend. You must be super happy, right? Come on, smile. You love doing science experiments. Even though Mia's struggling, she won't give up on her plan to destroy Caroline. She wants Jackson. And she doesn't want competition. So Mia would do anything. She'll ruin Caroline's shower by turning it into a real sauna. But Mia didn't know that Caroline loves the heat. Caroline was pleasantly surprised. She didn't know this college had a sauna. Mia is furious. She's steaming with rage. So she gets in the shower. And all of a sudden, she has to cool off. Mia never learns from her mistakes. Oh, Caroline forgot her phone? Time for another prank. She changes a couple of things on there. Caroline's got some messages from Jackson. But the messages Mia sends should upset Caroline a lot. Because fake Jackson is complaining about Caroline getting the role of Juliet and saying how much he likes Mia. Typical. Mia's so nervous that she throws the phone out of the window. The poor iPhone is destroyed. Caroline starts attacking Jackson, but he's not even listening to her. All he cares about is his new iPhone. Turns out his old phone broke, and he didn't have a phone yesterday. Mia is expecting a loud fight, so she's okay. spying on them. But then her plan failed. Caroline realized that Jackson wasn't the one texting her. She even gave Jackson her number. Caroline is so happy that Jackson is finally noticing her. She can't hide her feelings anymore. Mia's so mad that she's nowhere near getting Jackson's love. So close and yet so far. She wants to take this poster, but as usual, she just got herself in trouble. Just like the poster, Caroline's heart is missing a part. She sees her torn up crush, and she's crushed. But she can save him by transplanting his head. To get rid of Caroline even for one day, Mia turns off the alarms on her phone. But then she got caught in her own trap. Caroline woke up from the noise and saw she was late. Mia plays along and pretends she woke her up on purpose. But Mia had no idea how fast Caroline could be. She just hates being late, so she can get ready really fast. So fast that she shocks Mia. Caroline makes it to class at the last possible second. As for Mia, she remembered that she forgot her locker key at home. Mia ended up being two hours late. Oh. Mia might not be able to get all of Jackson, but she could get part of him. His t-shirt. Well, sure, but Mia mixed up the lockers. That was awkward. Poor Mia keeps failing miserably, but she won't give up. Her pranks are getting even more elaborate, and the consequences are getting even worse. Everything's backfiring. 
And Caroline isn't even noticing anything. She just feels bad for Mia. It's time to turn in your science projects. This is the perfect chance to destroy Caroline. Mia is determined to make her look bad. But Caroline's not here. When it's time to hand it in, Mia's in danger of getting an F because she didn't do anything. And like a knight in shining armor, Caroline shows up. She was late because she was finishing the project. That will save Mia. At that moment, Mia realized that Caroline deserves better than getting pranked all the time. What? Okay. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. This is the most important day of Caroline's life. She's playing the lead today. She's so nervous that she keeps losing her mind. She forgot the whole script. But luckily, Mia is here. She rushes to her friend's rescue. And she'll help her with the lines. She texts Caroline the script. But Caroline will never know. Because in Caroline's phone, Mia's saved as Jackson. That was an amazing performance. Mia is so happy for her. The Jackson thing is over. Mia decides to stay out of their relationship. And she promises never to bother them again. As for Caroline, she never even suspected anything. She's just dating Jackson. But then, one day, she saw his Insta story with a girl who looks a lot like Mia. No. Is that what friends are for? Did you like our new story? Who do you think the girl in the video is? Tell us in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss a new video from Troom Troom Trick.